we have a new video today and we are going to be preparing a very, very special and very popular Visayan and Mindanao dish called Balbakwa. Okay, Balbakwa uses cow feet and also mascara or the face. This is a soup or a stew that is very rich in collagen. I've had several versions of this, but this is the version that I have made. And I am adding my own touch by simply adding oxtail and cow's kneecap. I like cow's kneecap because the ligaments have a special texture. It's very different from the other litid or ligaments that you find in the cow. These have been placed in boiling water. I didn't blanch. I boiled for about five minutes and I threw away the water. This will ensure that there will be no funky or wild or too gamey flavors that are going to go into your soup. Of course, what do we use to saute? We're using achuete oil. We're using an extraction of achuete oil. Okay, many people argue, oh, that's just color. Not true, not true. Once it reacts with other ingredients, brings out that woodsy floral character, okay? That's what achuete is all about. I'm going to put in the tail. Now, the pure balbakwa ingredient is actually the foot. That's going to add a lot of richness and the face, the skin from the face. And we're going to cook this really low and slow. I'm going to put in the garlic, okay? It's whole cloves. I just want the garlic to caramelize and melt slowly into the soup that we are doing. Some carrots for flavor. I'm going to put in the lemongrass, the seabut, okay, lots of sliced onions, and lots of leeks, bay leaf, and here's some tomato paste to help in the caramelization. We are slowly browning our meat with, with the achuete oil when we get a light gold, and uh, the tomato paste starts caramelizing. Then we put our last condiments and we put our hydration. We hydrate it with water. Balbakwa is a dish that is for the working class. It's made out of off cuts. They, they use calf's foot, which is normally not really used much, but used in European sauces. This is really a dish that's very economical. It stems from the working class, the hardworking Filipinos who have to work the whole day. Okay, to add a little more zest to what we're doing, I'm putting fish sauce. And I'm putting liquid seasoning. And soy sauce. Now, I'm going to put in our chili. Put a little warmth in there. And then some white pepper. And some black pepper. Sinigang mix just to balance out the richness of the collagen. And we'll put our salt and we'll put our sugar. Okay, and now it is time for us to hydrate. And we will be covering this and cooking this for two hours. Look how gelatinously tender and this is really wonderful. This is going to be really flavorful. I'm going to get some potato starch so that you can add some texture and bind everything together. So the flavor becomes really nice and silky. So let's uh, get a little of everything. Here's some uh, kneecap. There's a little meat in there. Skin from the face. Okay, the mascara. 
here's some calf speed. So a combination of tendon and gelatinous fat. And some oxtail. Mmm, this soup. Oh, that stays in your palate. The beef. Mmm. There's just that light stickiness. You get the warmth of the chilies, the fragrance of the sea boot, and the lemongrass. It's all playing in this wonderful soup. This uh, recipe would have not been possible if we didn't have quality equipment like this and my knives if it weren't for Kitchen Pro. And if you like this video, please just press the like button and don't forget to subscribe. I've got loads of recipes coming and look at my past recipes. You love the Filipino flavors that we present. Thank you and good day.